I'm Alan Kenny, Editorial Director with REIT.com, and I'm in Chicago for REIT Week 2013 NARIT's Investor Forum. Joining me is Joseph Corradino, CEO of Pennsylvania REIT. Joseph, can you tell me a little bit about uh, your balance sheet? I know that you've issued some equity, used that to pay down debt. How are you positioned now going forward? Well, I'm really glad you asked that question because we've made tremendous progress on our balance sheet in the past year lowering it from approximately 66% to 49%. We think that positions us very well um, in terms of liquidity for taking advantage of potential opportunities, as well as withering uh, any unforeseen uh, risk that, might, that uh, might unfold. Earlier this year, your company secured the final piece in a core holding in Philadelphia. What are the other markets that you're looking to kind of strengthen your position in? Well, regarding Philadelphia, we're, we are very excited about having acquired the last piece of the gallery, a very strategic property in downtown Philadelphia. But regarding other acquisitions, we really see, uh, look at acquisitions really from a perspective geographically in markets that we understand and are comfortable with, and two, looking at metrics that are accretive, if you will, to our goals, i.e. either at 90% or can achieve 90% occupancy with sales metrics that are either at $400 a square foot or approaching $400 a square foot. And as importantly, being in solid demographic markets, capital city, capital cities, university markets, uh, or military markets are ones that we've seen a great deal of success with. Having said that, we are prepared to uh, be add value to assets so they don't always have to exactly achieve our metrics initially. We've seen some encouraging reports lately about consumer confidence returning to the market. Uh, what are some of the ways that you're trying to encourage uh, shoppers to come back to the properties? Well, certainly we, our industry has recognized that, the, uh, that a mall is more than simply a, a shopping uh, place to shop but rather retailing from a customer's perspective has become experiential. Uh, and so we really see the property as a center of the community and we have introduced many of the uses that one would find in any downtown, including restaurants, entertainment, uh, in some cases selectively healthcare, educational. Really as you, as you think about the mall environment, uh, the, the time-starved consumer is is really looking for a convenient shopping trip and a shopping experience and we've responded to that by introducing again selectively those uses that really enhance the shopping experience and for more on this and other read news and analysis be sure to check out read.com